Good morning to President Wendy Hicks and everyone at the Isolated Children's Parents Association annual conference in Perth. I'm really disappointed that I can't be there with you in person, but delighted to have the opportunity to say hello to you all through this video presentation. Everything you do for isolated children comes through to us in the government. So it's particularly important meeting here with your conference to be able to debate and discuss those issues that are really important to you out there in your communities and out there in the vast expanses of Australia that we all know we have. So I say to you today, make the most of the debate and make the most of the discussion because it's really important to those of us in the government responsible for the policy areas that relate to isolated areas of Australia that we hear very clearly your thoughts, your ideas and your suggestions for the best way forward for our isolated people and our isolated communities. Today I think you've got something around 137 motions on your agenda and that is a tremendous opportunity for you to formulate your policy ideas and your suggestions to government going forward. And I certainly really appreciate the relationship and the ongoing conversations I've had with many involved in the Isolated Children's Parents Association. I'm responsible now for regional development, local government and territories and regional communications. And these are all areas that I believe and I know you will understand are particularly important to people out in our isolated areas. Being now responsible for telecommunications in regional areas, I'm particularly keen to see the continued rollout of SkyMuster, our new satellite service. This will roll out to around 240,000 homes over the next couple of years. And I've been particularly sure to say to people that it's an entirely new technology to the satellite that we've seen before out in our rural areas. For the first time, we're going to have dedicated broadband for our students separate to the household allowance. And we're going to see 50 gigabytes available to students in homes, up to three students separate from household allowance. And when we see our students typically using about 15 to 20 gigabytes, that's a significant amount of data that's going to be available and I'm particularly proud that we're going to be able to deliver that to our people in isolated areas. So I wish you all the very best for your conference. I'm very much looking forward to the ongoing relationship that I have with many of you already in the association and I very much look forward to the outcomes for this conference because it really does inform government's decision making in this area. And I know, living in a rural area myself, that the policies we're looking at for rural and regional areas can't be just one size fits all. And that's why what you're doing at your conference is so important. So I wish you all the very best. Again, apologies I can't be there, but hopefully next time I'll be able to. And in the meantime, all the very best to all of you and everyone in your communities.